imagine the power, the freedom, the ability to enjoy every moment of your life and never miss a minute of your favorite entertainment. Now it's possible with digital video recording. Control live TV just like a DVD. Plus quickly record shows and schedule future recordings while watching your current program. Easy to use, inexpensive DVR. Welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. On Friday night, the Northampton Laurels took on the Atlantic City Diablos at J. Bernie Crum. With the Laurels currently in fifth place in their division, they were hoping to shut down the Diablos, who are currently sitting in second place. Kristen Mayer was on the scene to bring us the highlights from this exciting matchup. On Friday night at J. Bernie Crum, the Northampton Laurels took the field to face off against the Atlantic City Diablos. In the first half, both teams battle to get on the board. The Diablos' Kristen Edmonds takes a shot, but it goes right into the hands of Laurel's goalkeeper Aaron Awaskowitz. At the end of first, we're tied at zero. In the second half, in the 57th minute of play, the Diablos' Mary Wilkes from all the way on the right edge of the field sends one towards the net. It bounces right into the goal. The Diablos are on the board first with a 1-0 lead. But less than two minutes later, the Laurels answer as Captain Gina Lewandowski from inside the box slams one into the net. We're tied up at one and one. Despite efforts to put this one in the bag, neither team could come through as the defense for both the Diablos and the Laurels stays on top of their game. And this one ends in a one and one tie. It was a very good game. Uh, I think the Diablos have got a good team down there. Uh, nothing against our team, we performed really, really well. And after last week's disappointment, we bounced back really well. So I'm really pleased with them. To be fair, I think we've got to give credit to Northampton. They came out and they were, very, uh, they were first to the ball. They played very well tonight. The girls were very competitive and strong. Our girls seemed to uh, you know, be half asleep for most of the game. So, you know, it wasn't a good, uh, it wasn't the outcome we wanted. But saying that, we managed to come away with at least a tie, which is good. So it keeps us in the playoff one. Coming out from the start, uh, we knew the Diablos were a good team. Their a record was really good. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, uh, right from the start, we came out pretty strong. Uh, struggled in the first half, uh, finishing, uh, but I think we picked it up a lot in the second half. Now the Laurels are in third place in the WPSL East South Division as they look towards division playoffs. Our record's still pretty good. It's still 3-1-2. and two. We're still happy with that right now. Can we make the playoffs? We need the Diablos to go and beat Virginia next week, and then obviously we've got to play our next game against Maryland, and we've got to beat them, and we should be OK. Next Saturday, the Laurels host Maryland here at J. Bernie Crump. Kickoff's at 7.30 p.m. On the scene in Allentown, Kristen Mayer, 2 Sports.